Hello everyone, welcome back to Real Fitness. Thank you for joining us. We're gonna take you through another really good flexibility and mobility uh, routine. I hope you guys are enjoying the 30 day program. So I know everybody's getting a little stiff after that soreness, so you wanna be able to loosen up. So we're gonna go through some uh, variations today. Today we're gonna mainly focus on the back and lower back, but we are gonna include a little bit of everything. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. So let's all go down on the floor on all fours, we're gonna loosen up our spine doing cat-cow. We're gonna do about five cat-cows. Here we go, so all fours on down. So we're gonna drop our stomach down to inhale, cow. Then we're gonna exhale, cat, and push that spine up to the ceiling as high as, high as you can, freely feeling that push, air out, and inhale, cat. And here we go, exhaling, cat. Back to inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Two more to go. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Then we got one more. Here we go, last one. Inhale. Then here we go, exhaling, cat. All right. Now we're gonna go back up and stand and we're gonna go into a shoulder width stance. We're gonna create a W formation. So you wanna make sure that the elbows hinge, palms should be level to the neck, and then you wanna have it kind of behind the ear. All right, from right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna side bend our body. We're gonna go to the left, side bend, and then extending our right hand over our side of our head, bring it right back, back to neutral, alternating the side bend to the other side, Extending the arm out, bringing it right back, back to neutral. We're gonna do about four more. Here we go, side bend, extension of the arm, pull it right back, back to neutral, side bend to the other side, extend the arm over, pull it back, back to neutral. We got three more on each side. Here we go. And extend, pull it in. So, and then neutral, inhale. Side bend extension, exhale. Back to neutral, inhale. Side bend, exhale. All right, we got two more on each side now. Inhale, side bend, extension, exhale. Inhale, side bend, exhale. Back to neutral, inhale. We got one more. Inhale, last one. And relax. Shake it up a little bit. You're gonna feel a little bit warmth on the shoulder. All right, so now we're gonna have our hands behind our head. And we're gonna do a hinge forward, extend our arms out, pull it right back to behind our heads and lift. All right, we're gonna do four more. So we're gonna inhale, exhales are going down, extend the arms out, pull the arms behind the head and stand tall. Here we go again. Hinging over, parallel to the floor, extend the arms out, pull back to the hand behind the head, and stand tall. Two more to go. Inhale, exhale, extend the arms out, pull the hands behind the head, stand tall. We got one more to go. Hinging over, parallel to the floor, extension the arm, pull it behind the head, and stand tall. Well done. Okay, shake it up again, because it's really warming up the shoulders. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna come down, we're gonna get into a plank position. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna bend our knees, draw our hips behind, back, without landing our knees, just extending and extending, okay? Right into a plank. So from a plank, bending our knees, drawing our hips back, extending our arms, and forward. We're gonna do about four more. So I'm gonna inhale, and then I'm gonna end, exhale. Drawing that hip back, extending that arm, and inhale again. And exhale. We got two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna go back to our plank position. So we're here now, 
And what we're going to do from here, we're going to walk our hands, lift our hips as, long, as high as we can, stretching the back of our back and legs. And then we're going to roll up. And once we're up, we're going to roll back down, hip high. Feel that stretch behind the back of the legs. And we're going to walk out to a plank. And once we're here, we're going to bring up our right foot up as high as forward as we can. We want to make sure that we have that nice perpendicular formation. And from right here, we're going to lift off our right hand. Inhale. Drive our elbows to the ground. Exhale. Inhale. We're going to rotate that same side. Hands up to the air. Exhale. And then bring our hands back down. Plant our palm, extend our legs back to neutral, and walk our hands and stretch that body again. Roll up again. And now we're going to repeat it and switch side. So we're going to roll down, feel that stretch, make contact to the floor with your hands, walk out to the plank. And now we're going to bring up our left leg up. Make sure you have that perpendicular formation. Left hand goes off the floor, a big inhale, and then drive that left elbow down to the floor. Inhale again, and rotate that left hand up to the ceiling. And we're gonna bring back our hands down, shoot our legs back, and walk our hands back to our feet. Stretch the back, back of the leg, and roll yourselves back up. All right, we're gonna do this two more times on each side. All right, here we go, hinging over, feeling that stretch, make contact to the floor. Walk out to the plank. All right, from there, right leg up, right hand off. Big inhale, exhale, drive that elbows to the ground. Inhale, rotate that right hand to the ceiling. Let go of that air. Then right back down, palms down, shoot the leg back. And here we go, walking the hands to the feet. Feel that nice stretch behind the leg. Roll yourself back up. All right, here we go, back down, hinging. Contact to the floor. Walk out to that plank. All right, from there, left leg up again. All right, left hand off. Big inhale. Exhale, drive that elbow. Inhale, rotate that left hand to the ceiling. Hands back down, shoot the leg back. Plank walk to your feet. Stretching, the, stretching everything back there, roll back up. All right, we got one more on each side. Hinging, contact, walk out. Right leg up. Left hand off, inhale, drive that elbow to the ground, inhale, rotate that hand up, there you go, switch, I mean, excuse me, leg back, and walking that hand to the feet, roll yourself back up, and we got one more on the other side, hinging, contact, plank out, left leg up, left hand off, Big inhale, drive that elbow to the ground. Inhale, rotate that hand to the ceiling. Hands back down, shoot the leg back, walk the hands to the feet, feel that stretch, roll yourself back up. Whew, all right. So now, we're gonna go on the ground. I'm gonna switch position here. We're gonna go on the ground. We're gonna have your hands out from the body to the side with the palm facing down. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start with our right leg. We're gonna bring up our right leg, swing it all the way to our left side to see if we can reach it all the way to our hands. Whew. You're gonna feel that nice stretch going across your legs and partly on your lower lumbar. And then you go bring it back to neutral and switch side. And back to neutral and we switch side. We're gonna do this until we get 10 on each side. That's two and two. That's three. There we go, four. And just keep going, keep moving. Keep switching those legs. Loosen it up. Five. That's six. Four more to go. Seven, go as hard as you can, reach as far as you can, challenge your body. Eight, two more. Nine, one more on each side. 
and 10. Okay, so this is called a scorpion stretch. Now we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna do a reverse scorpion. So we're gonna be laying stomach down. We're gonna have now palm facing with a slight bend on the elbow. We're gonna start with the right leg, which is on this side. All right, from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. Only difference is that we're on our stomach. So I'm gonna start with lifting my right leg and going as far as I can to stretch and touch with my left. You probably won't make it, but you're making that effort and you're feeling that stretch. And then we alternate. So now it's my left leg going to my right side and back to neutral. This one we're only gonna do eight on each side. Inhale, same, always inhale, it's neutral. And then exhale on the execution. Back to neutral. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, good. There we go. Inhale, and exhale, good. So we got four already, four and four. Here's five. Three more to go on each side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Whew. Inhale, and exhale. We got two more to go on each side. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, exhale. You got inhale, and exhale, beautiful. All right, so in this same position, we're gonna stay with our stomach down. We're gonna now bring in our forearms and palm close to our body. We're gonna actually have the palm level to our chest and elbows close to our side. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna lift our upper body up, stretch that abdomen wall right there and really crunch that lower back. Feel that, feel the pinch in your back a little bit. And from here, we're gonna stretch back. And this time you can drop your knees, stretch back, bring it forward, bring it down and bring it up. So we're bringing it up, bringing it down, stretching it back. Back, forward, dropping the hips, dropping the body. Lift the body up, now lift the hips and draw it back. We're going back, drop the hips, drop the body, lift the body, lift the hips, draw it back. We got two more. Drop the hips, hold the body up, now drop the body, lift the body, lift the hips, draw it back. One more. Drop the hips, keep the body up. Drop the elbow, drop the body. Lift the body. Now lift the hip and draw it back. Very good. All right, so now we're gonna stay on all fours again. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start off with the, uh, the left forearm. We're gonna center it between the knees. So right now, my left, arm, my left forearm is gonna go between my right and left knee. So that would be right about there, okay? And then from right there, with the other hand, you're gonna clamp it together, inhale, and then open up to the ceiling to exhale. Back down to inhale, open up to exhale. Back down to inhale, open up to exhale. Back down to inhale, open up to exhale. One more, inhale, open up, exhale. All right, well now we're gonna switch. So I wanna make sure that we got the middle, making sure you're looking at your form and in relationship with your knees, making sure it's in the center. And then once it is, then we can start. Now left hand's gonna clamp and touch the right palm. Inhale, open up to the ceiling and exhale. Back down to inhale, open up, Exhale, inhale, open up, exhale. Then we got two more to go. Inhale, open up, exhale. Last one, inhale, open up, exhale. Nice, all right, so we're almost done here. Like I said, we're focusing mainly on our backs and lower back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay in our back here 
and we're gonna do a bridge stretch. Now, if you have tightness in your back, especially in the morning when you get up from bed, I recommend this one stretch. If you're gonna do one stretch in the morning, because I know it's hard to get into a routine, but this is a stretch to do in the morning so you can have a better day, okay? So you don't feel those achiness. So your feet is flat. Don't have the heels too close to the glutes. Make sure they're a little further apart, but you're able to feel your feet flat. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale and then exhale with a bridge up, and then we're gonna lift off our right shoulders, and then we're gonna do an overhead reach above us and touch the ground and release. Drop back down to inhale and repeat over to the other side. So we're inhaling, bridge, exhale, overhead reach. Back down to inhale, exhale, bridge, overhead reach. That's two and two, we're gonna get five. That's three, two more to go. One more. All right, and then what I like to do is just grab my knees, crunch in like a little ball, and just go side to side and feel a little bit of release pressure on the muscles that are outside of your spine. Just rock back and forth. Just for a little bit. I usually do about five back and forth. Woo! And that is it. Hope you guys got something out of that, especially when you're doing a 30-day 30, 30 program. You want to make sure you get into the routine of flexibility and mobility because it's not just about resistance. It's also about moving freely without pain. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us today at Real Fitness Mobility and Stretching. We'll see you on the next one.